My name is Eddie Sui, and I'm a transportation engineer with the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency. We install traffic signals when we have a request from the public, and we will time the traffic signals based on the needs of the actual intersection, depending on how many cars use it, depending on how many pedestrians use it, how long it takes the pedestrians to cross the street, and whether the vehicles are going straight or turning left or whatever the dominant movement is. We get requests from the public through the 311, the city's uh, information phone number, and they will give us feedback on how the existing timing is working or whether an existing signal needs to be modified. And the engineers here in our office will evaluate those requests and make adjustments as they are needed. This is Darcy Lim, one of our transportation engineers that's working on a program called Synchro. Uh, this helps us evaluate more complicated intersections. Through this computer program, we can simulate the impacts of traffic if we change various parameters. Here she's simulating two closely spaced intersections so that she can be sure that the short distance between one and how it's timed, the backup will not affect the adjacent intersection. This is Ferdy, and he's using one of our software programs uh, called D4, which takes all the signal timing parameters that the engineers have developed. He has the program and also a simulation that will show which traffic signals should be turned on red, which should be on green, making sure that two inappropriate lights don't turn on at the same time. He has connected it to the actual traffic signal controller up at the top in the actual signal cabinet that will be installed out in the field. This is a second round of testing to make sure the cabinet and the controller works together. Most of the signals in the city uh, are fixed time which changes based on a predetermined set of timing plan. For the ones that react to traffic, uh, we have sensors in the roadway that will detect when vehicles are present. We use different types of sensors. One of them is a wireless magnetometer, which senses the Earth's magnetic field. And when a vehicle passes over it, it will change the magnetic field and send a signal to the traffic signal controller telling them that a vehicle is present and needs to be served. At places where the traffic signals are spaced close together or where the traffic pattern is fairly predictable, like downtown, then we would use the pre-time signal. At locations where it's more isolated, where the traffic arrival is somewhat unpredictable, then we would use the type that uses a traffic sensor to change according to the actual demand.